What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Legendary Goomba here with a solo queue match. League of Legends as Udyr. Now, as you see here, I have Zig, Sona, Ash, Cho'Gath, and Udyr on my team as solo queue. Pretty bad, pretty good team. Eh, not so bad. I've seen worse. Um, some of you might be saying, solo queue Udyr, what are you guys doing? Um, yeah, it's not very good because Udyr doesn't really have a dash, so pulling together ganks with your team when you're solo queue and not on Skype is pretty difficult, I might say the least. So, as we get on with it, I am Jungle Udyr, as you see, and I will be speeding up parts of this video just to move it along so it's not whatever 30 minutes or whatever it was in real time. So I start off with, for items, I start off with the, uh, whatever that new item is, I forget what it's called, for jungling and five health pots. Start off with Tiger Stance. And a good tip when jungling your deer is, when you start off with Tiger Stance, always activate it before you leave base. So you'll have one proc on the damage over time. And then as soon as you hit the golem, you activate it again, and you get two procs right away. So it's like way more damage than anyone could ever expect on golem, and you can almost instantly smite it. It's pretty awesome. So there is some uh, like cuts in this part of, in, in this video because uh, I'm using fraps to record it off of low rec low record I think that's what it's called and every time uh, fraps cuts to a new new video or whatever since it only records in like four minute clips it kind of messes it up a little bit so I guess deal with it is the best thing I'm saying to do so. Pretty good jungle clear time as your deer. It's not the best, but take almost no damage, and you can probably do most uh, most of the jungle without using the potions because of uh, turtle stance. So kill a little minion there. Um, pretty much this video is a test just to see how the low recorder works, and. Uh, because I speed up some of the parts that I didn't mean to and slow down some of the parts I didn't mean to, so. As you can see, ganking bottom without being on Skype is pretty difficult, so. See, like, I slowed down right here for almost no reason, like. But yeah, ganking bottom with no help is pretty hard. Fortunately here, I get the kill. It's pretty crazy though, because since Tiger Stance does so much damage, it did the damage over time in order to kill him. Um, another tip on jungling here is always max your Q first and then your R so you have the most damage output. Uh, I usually get, it usually goes Q, W, E, Q, E, W, and then R, R, R. Q, RQ, RQ, or whatever, until they're 5, and then I max the E. So I pretty much get two levels in everything first, but maxing Bear and Bear and Tiger first, so when you're ganking, you have the speed to catch up to your opponents in lane, so they can't get away. As you see, uh, the items I get, boots, finishing wriggles, pretty much is a standard build for jungler. I need uh, AD jungler, not really tank or AP jungler. So, like Diana, they don't really get wriggles on Diana. So. Stealing some experience, just like every bad jungler should in solo queue. For some reason in this match, I always forget to kill the little tiny ones. It's like, it's pretty crazy. Oh, in this match, I 1v1 the other deer like several times, but I die because I get 2v1. Doing a little counter jungling here, which is always a good tactic if you're in solo queue because usually if you're in solo queue, that means the other people are in solo queue too. So, see, look at this 1v1 this new deer, no problem. I don't get away because 
Oh, look at that poppy, and I'm dead. So. Uh, with this build, you can pretty much 1v1 any other jungler and stick to him. Like, you don't, you're not going to worry about having to catch up or... Unless they're, uh, like, Ari. Ari with those three dashes, that's pretty difficult to keep up with. Especially when they always bring Flash. So, right here. Doing a little counter jungling and then uh, ganking the enemy top. Poppy thinks she get away. She ults me for some reason. Even though I do more damage than Cho'Gath. So. I think we take out the rest of this tower. Yep, we do. So, counter jungling. You saw Udyr find his red camp gone. And it's pretty funny because I took it. And I'm going to take all those wraiths too. So. As you see... And two enemy rampages on the bottom of the screen. So, so even though I'm three and one, the score is still seven to ten when losing in that. And it's like, how do you win when two enemies are on rampages, you know? I get a little overzealous here in the enemy jungle. I do 1v1 OD again, though. I got him, but it's just uh, like 1v1, oh wait, no, 2v1, oh wait, no, 3v1, and then it's like, see uh, my team crying about how I 1v1 them in the jungle, but they were stupid enough to follow me, even though there's three people around and they all got killed. So, as you can see, my Ash and Sona are feeding at the bottom. Well, they're not feeding anymore at bottom because their tower's gone, so trying to get this tower here. I think we do get this tower at this point. Yep. So, right now we do have a tower advantage. 2-1. to one. And... I don't think I actually get assist in this. She kites me so well. Oh, I do. Just kidding. I get the kill, actually. Oh, forgot about that. But, yeah, I'm doing this uh, a couple days after. After I actually recorded the match, so... As you see right there, somebody stole my blue buff, so I was kind of pissed off about that. So as you see my build develop here, uh, pretty tanky to start off with. Uh, pretty tanky, pretty fast. Uh, I got Boots of Swiftness, uh, Riggles Lantern, Health Pots, and a Sunfire Cape to max out pretty much all the health items I'm going to get this match. Early game anyway. As we progress into late game, you'll see how my build finals out and I get... A lot of attack speed, a lot of health. Um, try to mainly build to counter Vayne because she's uh, she's pretty much carrying this whole game against us. As you see here, kind of having a little standoff at mid. Just clear the jungle while no one's doing nothing. Solo dragon right quick. My team feeds at mid. I probably could have 1v1 that poppy, but I knew her team was behind her, so I didn't really want to worry about it. Picking up the recurve bow to finalize Wit's End here. Wit's End is a very powerful item, especially against um, a lot of... AP carries. Is it watch right here? Watch Sona take the spear for me. Uh, totally save my ass, even though Vayne kills are real good. But, oh well. As I was saying, Wit's End uh, really rounds out my build to get some magic resist when I have none. So, I think Wit's End is the only magic resist item I do get. But, it's a pretty powerful item on New Deer since you already get a lot of attack speed, you already get a lot of uh, movement speed, so... Whitson gives you just a little bit more. And they get a little overzealous here. Couldn't get him though. Well, I got one. When you're uh, playing Udyr, I always want to remember just to get your bear first. Or get your uh, auto attack with your bear first. 
just to get off the stun so they don't kill all your teammates. As you can see, Ash right here is complaining because I didn't stay in the fight. And it's pretty obvious why, because there's uh, two full health people against me who is half health and Ash who is like 0 and 7 at this point. So I really didn't want to stay in the, in that fight to die along with my team because that's a smart thing to do. Picking up Wit's End head on that B, clearing the jungle once again. As you see, it's, it's going a lot faster than before. Prime example of my team feeding again. So. 7 and 2 at this point, not bad. Not a bad score. Right here we do pick up one kill, but we get a we get one death as well. I think there's more to follow, not sure. So try to pull up some HP, but not enough to do any real good. As you said, pick up the pickaxe, uh kind of unorthodox item to get as Udir. But it's gonna be a uh Honestly, I forget what it's called, but it's uh, the, the item that gives you movement speed and it gives you um, tenacity. It's a fairly new item in League of Legends, so it really, since I don't get Mercury Treads in this match, uh, or really ever as a gear, because I need the speed to catch up to people since I don't have a dash, uh, I get the Merc or I get the Boots of Swiftness, so I don't have any tenacity, but I do get this item. Which gives me uh, gives me tenacity, so I really don't need to worry about it. As you can see here, the uh, game's kind of coming to an end. You can tell that we're losing every every team fight, mainly because Vayne's like twelve and one or some nonsense, and Swain's pretty much carrying too. And it's like I can only do so much because my whole team is just negative right now. I, I try to do a little split push here, but I realize that back of my base there's some serious things going on. See that Vayne just in our base and doesn't even care about the towers. Look Ash here. Oh look one crit does half Ash's health. You can tell how fed she is just by that. It's unstoppable. Hits me with two two crossbow bolts and does almost a quarter of my health, so and I'm not unhealthy at this point. I'm pretty pretty healthy, so almost died there. Sona kind of saved me a little bit, but did they call him GG already? Yeah, it pretty much is at this point, so as you can see, I can't since I'm Udir, doesn't have a team to work with him. Can't dash up to. Vayne or Nidalee, so they pretty much both get away right here, I think. Maybe I get one. No. See, Sona helps me out a little bit. And, uh, stuns are for me, but Swain, Swain really, uh, really does a lot of damage, so. I think that's called, that item's called Zephyr? I, for, I really forget, the one bottom middle, but it gives me much more attack speed, movement speed, and uh, tenacity, and some attack damage. Not too much attack damage, but enough to help, so. I do, I attack really fast, and now I do lots of damage, so. It's, uh, it's really helping kill off these super minions since our inhibitors are down. So. As I did say, this is a solo queue match, so I'm not in Skype, and... As you can see, my ally, my ally is just overextending. The other enemy team has Baron right now, I think. Oh, well, maybe they don't. I can't. Yep, they do. Definitely have Baron. So it's like, why are you overextending? We only have one tower, two inhibitors down. Poppy gets a little overzealous here. <laughs> she pretty much calls GG and sacrifices herself, so... I just see Vayne here, I'm really drawing a lot of their aggro because I do the most damage. And Ash is pretty much sitting in the back doing literally nothing. Throwing uh, paper plates at him. It's really hurting him, so.
can see my allies chasing and not caring about the turret. Just like usual solo queue activity here, so. Clearing out our base of super minions because everyone can't seem to do it for some reason. Uh, final item of the build is a giant's belt. I think that's going to end up being a uh, frost mallet because in this match, Vayne's is just too slippery. I couldn't catch her because of her her um, her invisibility and her just her slipperiness in general. So I pick up the uh, the oracle, oracle and the giant's belt to finish it into a uh, frost mallet. So the slow should keep her locked down for. My, her, the slow from Frost Mallet and the stun from my bear stance should keep her locked down for enough time for me and my team to get some stuns off her and kill her before she can kill my entire team, but as you see, that's not going to happen because that doesn't happen in solo queue because everyone's better than you and you suck because you fed the whole match. So, you'll see what happens here. I slowed down the end of the match because, uh, not much was going on. I don't really know why I slowed it down. Just kind of did. Then you can see my bear stance running around. Moving pretty fast. I'm moving at what, 433, I think? 439? Can't really tell. The screen's kind of small, so. Uh, it's nearing the end of the match now. As you see, they're pushing all the lanes and pretty much trying to get into our base to take out the Nexus, which they do succeed. Uh, Swain coming in doing a little damage to Ash. Actually, a lot of damage to Ash and Sona. Now I try to run in here mostly just to fend him off. Sona, old Swain, Swain down to like almost no health, pretty much dead, but still alive. Oh no, he does. Shogoth kill the feasts on him. Feasts on their bones. So I run back, get some health, and try to fend him off. Last ditch effort, but doesn't work. So. That's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully posting more to come. Until next time, it's been Legendary.